Hey everyone, it's your boy, Yaboy yeah Boy Sailor. So what I'm going to be talking about today is a game on Roblox called Ro Welcome to Roblox Building. Uh, this game is actually a building simulator. I don't know what to describe it as. You spawn onto one of many base plates and then you just build on it. It's, it's a creativity game so far. But what I've noticed about this game is that there are two NPCs. One is on a windowsill and another is on a door frame. Now this game really wants you to only build on your specific base plate and there is a uh, NPC that walks around called Helperbot and uh, he actually does the opposite of helping in our case today because he is very annoying. But what I'm going to show you today is how to get past helper bot and the other limitations that this game provides in order to reach the two uh, NPCs that are on the uh, windowsill and door frame. Now, it's going, it might be a little complicated, but you have to, un but what we're going to do is first we're going to talk about the base positioning which is the uh, the position of the base that you spawn at correlated to the position of the target that you're wanting to reach. Like uh, if you spawn at a base plate, we're going to talk about how close that base plate is to one of the NPCs that you're trying to reach because this is going to be important. Because Helperbot, he walks around and if he notices that anything is uh, off shape or uh, if one of your blocks is outside of the building, which they will be in this, build in, uh, this tutorial, well, then he will try and reach it uh, and destroy it. So we're gonna have to be pretty fast here, but uh, we can under uh, but we can uh, <clears throat> we can get past that as long as but we have to do it does require a bit of luck I should say. All right, let's move on to uh, base positioning and then after that we will be talking about uh, doing the actual uh, build itself. All right, so. Uh, what we see here is basically like an overview of the uh, of the actual play area where you spawn in. Uh, each one of these squares, except for the one on the left and the right, are uh, base plates that you can spawn at. And uh, please excuse the mismatched uh, order that they're in. I wasn't able to be very, uh, very precise, but moving on. Uh, the clear rectangles on the left and the right are the targets that we're trying to reach. The left one being the door frame and the right one being the window seal. And uh, the uh, purple base plates are the ones that are the most optimal. You want to spawn at these areas. If you spawn at these areas, then you are the closest to your targets and it will be the easiest for you to reach. And the green are the ones that are okay to spawn at. That you, you, can, you, can definitely, um, you can definitely manage if you spawn at here, but it's going to be a little difficult. And the yellow ones are... Uh, you might want to consider rejoining the game if you spawn a yellow one, but it can still be done. It might take a little bit of outside help, but it can be manageable. You just have to make sure that you time things up properly. And the red ones are the ones that you do not want to spawn at. You don't want to spawn at these areas. If you spawn at these areas, the chances are you won't be able to make it in time unless you have some serious dedicated outside help. So, and by outside help, I just mean like... Uh, if you have another player joining in to uh, distract the helper bot. Uh, so, it, it, so as long as you spawn in the purple, green, or yellow, then you should be pretty fine. Um, and But uh, if you do, again, if you do spawn the yellow, I, I would consider rejoining, maybe. And uh, <clears throat> so moving on to next up. Okay, another pro tip is to make sure that the server you're playing on actually has a helper bot. Otherwise, if the helper bot glitched out or something, the blocks are just going to disappear right then and there, and that's not going to be very fun. Uh, but I actually, uh, so I spawned really close to this thing right here. So we're just going to, uh, so this is the easier version of, uh, of that one over there, because this one, it's pretty close to the ground, and uh, the other one requires a lot more uh, ingenuity because if you if you notice that if you build high enough, uh, you can't actually delete the blocks at the bottom unless going down there yourself. So the other one is going to require some uh, in, a little bit of advanced building, but um, this one should be good enough. So what we're going to want to do is build a little high, bridge out like there, and then what we're going to want to put right here is a chair. I prefer the space kit chair. Not entirely sure why. 
but I just like it. So, and then this is important. Uh, when you build out like this, you're going to want to make sure that the chair you put down is facing the direction that you want to go when you sit down. Because we're going to actually be controlling this entire building with this chair. And uh, if it's facing a different direction than what you want to go, it's going to get a little complicated to move. So just make sure that it's facing the direction that you want to go. And then we're going to rotate this chair. And then we're going to break one of the bottom blocks off. Doesn't have to be the very bottom. Just has to be uh, bottom enough so that we can, uh, yeah, like right there. See if I can get it. This is, uh, can require a bit of a uh, precision, but that should be good enough. And then we're going to want to make sure that helper bot's all the way over there. And this, and so this is our time to shine. We go all the way over here. And now helper bot is going to destroy this, but we want him to. Because we cannot destroy this chair unless helper bot destroys it for us. So we're going to wait for him to go over here. We bridge out like that. He destroys the thing. And that was a weird glitch, but whatever. It worked out. Anyway, so we can get over here and talk to this guy. He just says that there's candy at the bottom. If you do go down there, you you just die. It's it's just death. All right. So and now I'm going to try and see if I can spawn at uh, another one that's closer to the door frame. Okay. So after a little more of trying, I finally landed on a good base plate that has a helper bot. So that's good. So in order to reach this one, it's going to be a little complicated, but it should be doable. And you can see that there's a platform up there. I think I think it's best for tutorial reasons if I just uh, remove that. So we're just going to okay. So what we're going to do now is you see up there we're going to go over there. So I'm going to spawn right here. And we're going to just build all the way up. Might take a little while, but we can do it. We're gonna we're gonna build almost to the roof. This should be good enough, and then we're going to build a platform right here. It's gonna be it's gonna be a small platform, but uh, it it's not really used for much. Actually, I think it's best if we go to like this level. Oh, there that goes. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I think that level would probably be the best. But that should be good enough. And what we're going to want to do right here is we're going to want to build out like this. Oh, I fell. All right. So this is actually, it's not bad that I fell because it, this actually segues us into our next portion. Uh, the flying machine. So we're going to build a controllable flying machine in order to get back up there. Because we don't want to build all that again. All right, so we're going to want to go over here. We're going to want to go into space kit, get a chair like we did the last time. Uh, delete that. Go into wiring. We're going to want a float pad. And now, just like last time, you know, make sure you're oriented correctly. Switch it. Then just delete that and that, and then we have a controllable flying machine. Much easier to control if you're in first person, but we just want to get all the way up there. All right, so we're up here. We can get our way over. We're just gonna want to break that. No, uh, it's it's a little it's a little hard to control at times. Get up here. Like that. There we go. Now that we're up here, we can just remove that and that will fall to the ground. Ah, my hands are a little greasy from popcorn, and so it's hard for me to scroll in. Alright, so just gonna place that right there like we did last time. And now we're going to purposely jump down. We're going to delete that. I get it didn't fall. <laughs> and then what we're gonna want to do is just rebuild that flying machine again. Down 
that right there, that right there, rotate this, build this, delete that, and we fly back up there. All right, so what we do is uh, we do that, uh, that, that fall. Then we hop over to this. We hop onto this. We rotate it. And now we can move. We move ourselves all the way over here, and we wait for help robot. There he is. Actually, didn't check where he was, so you could have destroyed that a while ago, but thankfully didn't. And hope that you don't fall. Okay, okay. And now you got yourself up on the door frame. This is the most reliable method that I've figured out, and the only one that's worked so far. We go to this guy, it's a long way down from here. So there is, you can say all this dialogue, I've already read it, it's in or right, you are so cool, pretty much, and the other one just leads to a dead end, to the, the other other one, just a you noobs or leads to just know you, and then it ends, and then, uh, well yeah, that's about it. Um, Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a little like right down there on the bottom of the uh, video thing itself. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new. Don't forget that bell notification, even though I rarely post on this channel. I'm sorry, my upload schedule has been very not good. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the uh, next video that I eventually make. <laughs> Bye.